Hello. Uh, I didn't think I'd get time to do a video today and the subject I'm going to talk about is probably a subscriber killer <laughs> as are many of mine and also many of my videos start off very slow and I'm umming and ahhing as I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to explain what it is I want to explain. And this has served as a good way to put people off watching my videos and getting the information contained. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so, dealing with lust. Oh, right, so I've worked something out. And it's very, um, what's, what would you say when it's not, doesn't seem logical, doesn't seem obvious. It's very counterintuitive, I think. That's, that's the way. So, <clears throat> all of us men, and I'm mainly talking as men, um, you know, for women it might be similar, it might just be the opposite or something like that, but I can only talk as a man, so take it for that. But all of us men, uh, I know we have an issue with lust. That we, um, we lust after the mainly naked or sexy female figure. And the bumps and lumps and crevices and things which we seem to like. And I myself, as a male who's been single for 10 years, so I haven't had sex for 10 years, um, but I have, you know, enjoyed orgasming a couple of times a week, usually. And usually it's like a stress reliever, I feel a lot calmer after ejaculation. Um, so, yeah, and um, over the last few years I've, I've kind of consulted with God on this issue quite a lot. And in the beginning I saw I had a very warped sense of the female and what she's for. I've also got come a lot closer to understanding the soulmate connection. And so I was left with this lust hanging over. Sometimes I thought I'd conquered it. Uh, but it would be back, and I found it was something I just, you know, was unable to resist, and I would want to have to go and ejaculate, and then I'd feel, well, I'd feel different things, and I was noticing how, perhaps with my intentions, or perhaps with the particular person that I was thinking of, because I would usually think of a particular person, especially in the last few years, because I would actually find quite a strong connection with different people and it would affect it in different ways. But <clears throat> all the time there was this lust there. And just last night I thought of something. So I've been feeling the difference between what so when I have had um a wank about my soulmate um it's been amazing um the orgasm has lasted for ages and I felt really good afterwards but what I've always noticed is it's always it's not that um easy to 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 get into that sort of mood when thinking about my soulmate um and what i've had connections with my soulmate which are much stronger and better than even having a wank and orgasm in is some just real deep connections and also help kind of knowing what i am as a soul has been helped by connecting to my soulmate and feeling what we are as one pair like God is God is a pair male and a female so so the last thing so when I've let into my lust and I've gone with it um, I've kind of expected uh, God to tell me off in a sense and that hasn't happened um, although I would myself tell myself off and I would feel a bit bad for 
what I'd done. But what I realised last night, well this is the new thought, is that when I'm, when I've got that yearn for lust, what, what is it? Right? So I was thinking it was some sort of error in my soul that I've been gradually repairing over the last few years. But what I've cottoned on to, or if you like, is a belief system I'm going with at the moment, is that yearn for lust is actually yearn for my mother God. Now, we came out of a fanny, we all came out of a fanny. That's what happened. Oh, for American people, vagina, sorry. You call a fanny a bum. So. We all came out of a vagina, you know, we were born, well, perhaps some of us weren't, caesarean section, was something a bit weird I don't want to go into. But we all came from our mother's vagina. And, you know, Freud said, you know, people were listening to him all the time, everything he said, until he said, you know, we all want to have sex with our mother and kill our father. Now, when you're born, you feel, you're feeling mother and father God. You're like in that buzz. Oh, that's the phone going. I'm going to have to get it. Um, hang on. Hello? Hi, Francis. Oh, you're coming now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's fine. Awesome, okay. See you in a minute then. <laughs> Bye. Well, I better wrap this up. So when I've been feeling that just lust yearning, and I've felt it towards Mother God, it works. I don't... I don't feel like sort of knocking one out. I that that feeling just kind of fits. It's I want to get back with Mother God. I want to get back in that vagina, which in the soul state, where I'm in God, I'm always going to be in God. So um, yeah, that's what's working. So. Um, as weird as it may seem, that's what I'm going with and trying. So I've got, you know, when I'm meditating, I've got me, which I contain in the one love, the male form of it, the white light. I'm surrounding, surrounded by Mother God. I'm in Mother God. And I've got my soulmate in me. And then we're all in Father God. And it goes on and on. But, yeah. Like I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Ciao. Bye.